Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel HRB Embedded and Craft. Today we are going to learn a PLC and HMI example which is a two liquid filling, mixing and draining along with some indications. So here we can see an HMI animation is made by a Delta Soft HMI software for two type of liquid mixing and draining process. So we created one HMI animation screen which includes two push buttons which is used to start the process and to stop at any time the process along with some indicators fill, timer and drain process. There are two solenoid valves to fill the tank and one solenoid is used to drain the tank after the process completed. These are the level sensors level 1 and level 2 which detect the level of the liquid inside the tank and here one more low level a detector are provided to sense when the whole liquid is drained out. Now let us understand how this process works with this animation. After that we will learn to build a ladder diagram for this process and creation of HMI screen. So now we can see the HMI screen. So this is the start button and here it is the start button. As soon as the start button is pressed, solenoid valve 1 is turned on and liquid starts flowing into the tank. As soon as the liquid enter into the tank, the low level sensor will detect the level of the liquid inside the tank starts increasing here. As soon as the liquid level is reaches to a level 1 and this level 1 sensor detects the level of a liquid, solenoid valve 1 is turned off and solenoid 2 valve is turned on to fill the second liquid into the tank. Again, the level of the liquid is raised. Once the level of a tank is increases and it reaches to a maximum level, the level 2 sensor will detect the higher level of the tank and it is turned on. Now, both solenoid 1 and 2 will turn off and mixing motor is started and it runs for 10 seconds and as soon as the mixing motor is stops the solenoid valve 3 is turned on liquid from the tank is drained out and as the liquid is drained out the level of the liquid is decreases within the tank that we can see here as the level of the liquid is reduces level 2 is turned off and and level 1 is also turned off and when it reaches to a lower level of the tank and solenoid 3 is stopped and solenoid 1 will start again filling to the tank. So now we can see here, we will see the indicators. When solenoid 1 is turned on, the fill indicator is turned on and as soon as the low level detects and as the tank is filled and reaches to a level 1. So now here, solenoid 1 is turned off and solenoid 2 is also turned on. Now the fill is continuous to run because Solenoid 1 and 2 both are filling the tank. So now it reaches to a maximum. As soon as the level of the tank reaches to a maximum, so level 2 detects the level and as soon as the level 2 detects, the motor starts running and it spins the blade so that it mix the liquids within the tank. And at the same time, the timer will start running for 10 seconds. The See the motor starts running and lamp is turned on, timer is also turned on and goes for 10 seconds. So now the 10 seconds over, motor stops and spinning also stops and drain valve is turned on or liquid from the tank is drained out from the tank. Now as soon as the liquid flow from the tank, the level of the liquid decreases. So as soon as the low level is indicated, the process is repeated. So here we have a PLC input and output wiring system. It shows start and stop push buttons, three level sensors, one motor output and three valve outputs. Source sink of PLC is connected to the ground and X naught is connected 
to the start button and X1 is connected to a stop button. X2, X3 and X4 are connected to the level sensors. Here at an output side Y0 is connected to a motor and Y1, Y2, Y3 are connected to the valve V1, V2 and V3 respectively. Let us understand the logical steps for this process. First of all, we will build a latching circuit to see the process is on or off using start and stop push button. After that, we will check if the process is on and the low level sensor is off and level 1 sensor is off. If this condition is met, then the filling valve 1 or solenoid valve 1 should turn on. So this is the logical circuit to turn on the solenoid valve 1. So now we will write the logical circuit to switch off the valve 1. So what are the conditions is required? If the stop push button is pressed, the process is off or low level sensor is on and level sensor 1 is also on, then it should turn off the filling valve 1. Similarly, the same logical circuit is to be applied to turn on and turn off the filling valve 2. To turn on the filling valve 2, so what are all the conditions is required? If the process is on and low level sensor should be on and the level sensor 2 should be off, then the filling valve 2 should be turned on. And to turn off the filling valve 2, we will see that what are the conditions. If the process is off by top button or the low sensor is on and the level sensor 2 should be on then it should turn off the filling valve or solenoid valve 2. So this is about filling process. So now we will see the mixing process. If the process is on and the level sensor 2 is on then we should turn on the timer and to turn on the motor. If the process is on and the level sensor 2 and timer is not completed then we should turn on the motor that means the motor should run for the timer is set for maybe a 10 seconds or 20 seconds as per our requirement so this is about a mixing process now let us see what are the conditions is required to drain out the liquid from the tank if the process is on and the timer is completed so that drain valve should be turned on at the same time the motor is also should be turned off. So next we will see that what are the logic circuit is required to turn off the drain valve as well as to reset the timer. If the process is off or low level sensor is off then turn off the drain valve 3. So this is about a logical circuit is required for liquid mixing process. So now let us start a logic ladder diagram using ISP soft 3.16 go for a new file okay we'll give you a name project name mixing and drain see controller type is a dvp and plc type is a c2 okay so now we will define some input and output in device comment list okay let us start from x naught x naught is start stop then x2 is low level sensor x3 is level 1 sensor x4 level 2 sensor then we'll go for y outputs we'll got y naught is mixing motor solenoid 1 solenoid 2 solenoid 3 then we will go for M, M0 is process on slash off, M1 will say fill indicator and then we will select some T, mixing time. Okay, now we will close and then we will go for programs, new, then program name is we will select MIXING mixing and uh, cyclic task ladder diagram then we'll give okay so now we'll draw a ladder diagram for process latching we'll write process latching in comment box for this we required start stop then one output m0 x1 stop 
x0 m0 to latch so this is for a ladder diagram for latching second network is used we will draw a network for to turn on solenoid 1 this is m0 x2 x3 then this is y3 as an interlock and here x2 to turn on this is required normally close and this is normally close it should be normally close and this is y1 that should be set then we'll go for next one to turn off solenoid 1 so here 1 m0 this should be y1 so this is set and here it is reset and another conditions whether process should be off or x2 and x3 should be turn on then we'll go for to turn on the solenoid 2 and we'll go for new network what are the conditions here this is automatically m0 and this is x3 level 1 x4 level 2 and this should be either as an interlock this should normally close and here this is y2 so now we'll draw a another ladder for to turn off solenoid 2 so here is it is this is m0 and here it is x3 x4 and then this is y2 that should be reset this is about to turn on and turn off of the solenoids then we will move for mixing before that we will provide one network to turn on indicators So what are the conditions that we so here whether y1 or y2 either solenoids 1 or 2 is turned on indicator should be turned on so now we will move for another network to turn on the motor mixing motor we'll write a comment motor turn on to turn on the motor process should be on and higher level sensor should be turned on and timer should not be completed so this is important should not be completed this is output is motor y0 mixing motor so now we will draw another network for a timer So here one, two, and this is M zero, and here this is X four. Until unless these two are turned on, the timer should be continuous to run. Write T M R. We got one timer. This is we'll give a name of T zero. Is a timer mixing time. And we give hundred because this hundred milliseconds timer. So that for a ten seconds we need hundred. If I write hundred here, then it will give you a ten seconds. So now we'll write another new network to turn on the drain valve. So here the condition is latching process timer output. So here this is M zero. and when the timer is completed drain drain valve should be turn on what is the output drain valve is y3 this should be set so now we'll write another network to turn off the solenoid valve 
y3 this is one more we required and here it is m0 should be close and here this is x2 i mean low level sensor should be turn on should be give a falling edge should be give falling edge once it is giving a low sensor so your drainer should be reset that is this is go for reset and here the t0 also should be reset this is about a ladder diagram for the mixing process so now we will test yes we got zero warning and zero errors so now we will run this with the simulation now we will open communication driver and we will add new one called as mixing and the type is dup simulator and here sca2 type so mixing now we does start so now we will download compile the project download not startup okay here now we will download close then we will run then go for online then turn on mp so now okay sorry here we need to provide this normally close so then go for online okay, we need to download again okay now we will come to the online and we will start the process on so now the process is turned on the same time solenoid 1 is also turned on so that the liquid is filled into the tank once the level is reaches low level is sensed and once the level 1 is sensed solenoid 1 is turned off and solenoid 2 is turned on so that the second liquid is going to be filled into the tank so here the fill indicator is indicated the liquid is filling into the tank so after reaches to the second level or maximum level then this switch is turned on so that indicators are turned off both and it runs for 10 seconds mixing time then mixing motor is turned off and solenoid drain valve is turned on so that the liquid from the tank is completely drained out once the low level is sensed by a sensor as the liquid is drained out from the tank so that the level 1 is also turned off level 2 is also turned off once it reaches to the low level then this is turned off again solenoid 1 will turn on so this is about a logic ladder diagram for process mixing the same ladder logic diagram so we will see through a HMI animation okay we will stop the process so now everything is stop using stop button